this. I have a coffee here, which is one point. I have a sandwich, egg sandwich. I only have one slice of bacon on there. And I'm trying out some salsa on a little portion of it to see if I like it. Cheese, so that is three, four, five smart points. And then I had two spears of these. This is my second one for the pineapple. So at zero points, so five, six smart points for breakfast this morning. Guys, at, at the meeting, we had some nachos, cheese, supreme, crunchy snacks. These are the ones we thought we were getting last time. They're two smart points, and they're a much fuller bag. And then the protein bar stick, and it, like it's not very big, but it does the trick when you're craving something sweet. So those two are four points together. And then we had a Dopio Espresso, which we drank already, of course, from Starbucks. Two points, so six points in snacks this morning at the Weight Watchers meeting. Lori and I are on the Eau Claire River Trail today. Uh, probably get two miles, yeah, probably get two miles in, at least, maybe more. More fording of rivers. It's a little flooded here. I'm glad they put the culverts in. Yeah. The good thing last, that they put the last culverts time this in. This whole area was flooded out last year. Yeah, this whole area flooded last year, so they got smart and put culverts in this year. Helpful. Thank you, culvert builders. I think it's time to move the bench in a little closer because it's actually in the water. <laughs> wow. Looks like lost a good six feet of riverbank. Yeah. Crazy how high the water got this year. I'm sure that big snowfall helped. See some snow over there yet though. For our walk, we're having some fruit, a cup of fruit. Hey guys, I had two of these. I'm only drinking half of this one though. I'm just not hungry for it anymore. So this is going to be all I drink of this one. This is about half of it. And the other one I drink all of it. So that would be one point and I'm counting this for, or two points, I'm counting this one for one point. Outside walking, outside walking another mile. We did two and a half, so this will be three and a half today. I was trying to get two in. And I thought, you know what? My husband had to work, so I had to go out for another walk and get an extra mile in. So that's what I'm doing. It's kind of chilly out. It's windy. Thank God for the sun. I only had a sweatshirt on. It's like 42, maybe. Okay, guys, I have chop suey soup here. I made some tonight, and it's really good. It is one smart point, though, because it... I think that it has these noodles automatically in the chop suey vegetables that I buy. So this is one smart point for one cup, which isn't too bad. Add one of these for a snack tonight, four smart points. Good evening, guys. I wore my shirt to the meeting today. It's so cute. I love this shirt. And I got, after the meeting, we went to the farmer's market, got our eggs and our kombucha, and we got cheese. We got cheese as well. And then we came back home, had breakfast, which you saw at the beginning of the video. And then we went out to search for a walk after I got my video uploaded. We ended up walking two and a half miles on the trail, which was in really good shape. I showed you a little bit about that. Although we did have to ford a river, that was kind of fun. And then we went on a, well, I went on another walk. Corey had to go to work for a few hours. So I decided, my sister called me and I thought, oh, I might as well go for a walk while I talk with her. And I talked with her the whole entire time. So I went on a two mile walk myself. So I got four and a half miles in today, which I'm really, really pleased about because I overdid it on my food today and I'm over on my points and I did not get a blue dot. So that's why I thought I need to get some high mileage in so I can kind of work with that. Tomorrow we are going to finish up the Gibraltar Rock Trail because we just realized we didn't finish that trail. We only did part of it. So we have another three miles to finish on that trail. So before I can post my Gibraltar Rock segment, I need to finish that three miles up. 
So that's what we're doing tomorrow. We're driving two hours. We're taking two cars. Otherwise, we'd have to walk six over six miles to go there and then back again. So we're just going to take two cars. My husband has to go back to work anyhow. So he has it. That's like a 35 minute drive away from here towards where we're already driving to. So on the way back home, he'll stop at work and I'll just keep on heading home. So it all works out for the best. It sucks that we have to take two cars for two hour trip and not spend it together. But that's how it works. So that's what we're going to do. It should be a fun day tomorrow. We The part of the trail that we missed is going to be a pretty interesting trail as well. So we'll take some pictures and some video and add it to what we already have done. What we already have done, I have it edited and everything already. So hopefully it won't take too long to get this video out there. And then I have the other segment that's already done that I need to start working on editing. And then we're going to start getting these videos out there for the Ice Age Trail segments. And we're just going to name them Ice Age Trail and then we're going to put what segment they are. So if you're not interested in that, you can just skip that video. It's all that's going to be on that video is the segments themselves. After our after my walk here, I made dinner. I made the chop suey soup, which is really good and so super easy to make. I was, and then I had some extra coffee. So I ended up being seven points over. I didn't get a budat, which was okay. I used up some of my weeklies, which I usually always do on Saturday. Tomorrow, I'm going to have a, a really good day, though. I'll probably be under my points because we're taking tuna sandwiches. That's always a low point over there, and we're going to have that when we go on our trip because we're leaving at about 10 a.m.-ish, and then when we get down there, we'll eat before we hike, and then we'll have a snack on the way home. So we'll bring, like, some string cheese with, and we'll bring our tuna stuff with, and that's pretty much all we're going to need. We'll have snack before we leave. And we'll have breakfast before we leave. So it should be just totally fine. We should stick within our points. I'm going to have the chop suey soup again tonight or tomorrow night. And I don't know what Corey's going to have, but that's what I'm having. Either that or chili. Maybe I might have chili because I don't want to waste the chili that's in the fridge. We have lots of leftovers and chili. So I might have that instead of soup and then have the soup the next day we got to eat it up, though, before I start my egg fast on Wednesday because I can't eat those things on my egg fast. I got some extra eggs from the farmer's market to be prepared for my egg fast because I usually have six to eight eggs a day. So that's a lot of eggs. So I got five dozen from the farmer's market. Two of those will be eaten by me within those three days, maybe a little more than two, depending on how many I have. I had a good day. I, I was pleased with today. I had more than I really wanted to today. But it's Saturday, so I did it. I had too many carbs. And you know what, guys? I feel bloated again. I do. I felt so thin when I did the egg fast because it took all of that water weight away. And I wanted to make sure that I transition and not go overboard on Saturday when I have weigh-in. I'm going to transition off of that egg diet and then go from there on Weight Watchers normally. Even on the egg diet, I can track, I can plan. I'm staying on Weight Watchers. I'm not going off of Weight Watchers at all. I'm going to put everything in my tracker and, yeah, count my points and not go over my points. That's why I lowered the butter because they say two tablespoons of butter. I don't use that. I use like two teaspoons at the most, maybe not even. I think I've been using one teaspoon and that is plenty for three eggs. That is plenty. In fact, at the end, there's still some butter in the pan. So I don't know, there's no way I could eat two tablespoons. I would be sick to my stomach if I tried eating two tablespoons of butter, seriously. So one teaspoon is all I use. I don't feel bad about that. I eat, for my extra fat, I will eat avocado with my egg to make up for that extra fat. Cause you're supposed to have so much fat per egg, like so much percentage. You can look it up on YouTube. There's plenty of explanation on the egg diet on the egg fast, there's plenty of information. That's where I got it from. So I'm following one of the plans. There's several different plans out there, so be aware. And then I'm also going to be updating on my Facebook group, which is located down below in the description box. You can click on the link down there and come and join our group and follow along with me. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is when I'm gonna be doing the egg fast. We will see how it works out. And I didn't get sick of eggs, like the day and a half I did do it, so we'll see. In fact, I was more than willing to have eggs in the morning for breakfast. Oh, my dog wants them. Hold on a second. Okay, Luna just sits there and yips when the dogs are ready to come in. She goes out and she does her business fast and then 
the big dogs stay out there a while. But they were ready to come in and Luna let me know because she yips at the door and tells me, hey, the dogs went in. Come on, get up and let them in. So <laughs> she loves she loves Miley, loves Miley, and she always wants to be by Miley. When Miley, Miley sleeps in Nick's room at night, and when we don't let her out in the morning right away, Luna's right over there by the door yipping and yipping because she wants Miley to come out. She's so sweet. She loves Miley. So anyway, like I said, I was more than excited to have eggs in the morning the next morning after my egg fast was all done. I also was excited to have some other stuff like my premier protein. And guys, Friday I went into town I could not have a premier protein with my triple espresso, but I didn't have it. I stuck to the egg fast 100% on target, which is what I plan on doing Wednesday through Friday. I plan on sticking to it. You really have to stick to it if you want it to work. You have to stick to it. And it's it wasn't hard for me. I was really surprised. I wasn't craving anything. I didn't have anything extra other than what I showed you on Friday. That's all I had. I had avocados with one of my meals because I didn't want all that butter in there. So that was really delicious. And then the egg clouds were really good. It was it was like I wasn't even eating eggs. It was it was almost like a uh, yolk on a piece of bread, like a sweetened bread a little bit. And you don't have to put the stevia in there at all. You can put, you know, just your cheese so it'll taste like a piece of bread, literally. And I'm gonna try it both ways. I have not tried it without the sugar, without the um, stevia in it, but I'm gonna try it both ways and I'll let you know which way I liked it better. Now, I think my husband wanted to try it out too. So, I don't know. I'm gonna do a cook with me on that too the next time I make it. So watch for that as well. It'll be this week sometime, probably Wednesday or Thursday. It depends, it depends. But I'll let you know. That is it for today, guys. We had a great day walking four and a half miles today. I'm going to try to get at least 15 miles in this week, if not more, but my minimum target is going to be 15 miles. We're going to do three tomorrow. That'll be seven and a half already, just in two days for the weekend. And then Monday, I'll probably be walking a couple walks on my own because Corey has to work. And then I have to see what days it's going to rain and try and figure out my walks in between the rainfall. <laughs> so that is all, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow for another What I Ate. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share it if you think it may help somebody. And also join my Facebook group. My Facebook group is listed down below in the description box. I'm going to be adding information on my egg fast when I do it over there. And there's several people that are joining me in this little challenge as well on my Facebook group. So you guys, if you are interested in joining me on this three-day egg fast, come on over to my Facebook page. And maybe I'll try to figure out how to do a spreadsheet on this and see if we can figure it out somehow or another. If you want to join, definitely come on over and join that spreadsheet with us. Or else I will just do a post and we can keep updating that post every day. So either way, we'll get it done. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.